this right here. A torque. <laughs> Tell you guys. Oh man. Oh. Go. <laughs> I love it, man. You know, for my next motorcycle, I'm thinking seriously about getting a bobber motorcycle, man. Some just a simple cruiser, good looking, small, compact. You know, fairly lightweight. The crew's out here on the streets. Got a little bump and torque down low. I'm going to tell you, there's a beauty to cruising on a motorcycle, man. It's not all about rip, you know, ripping it on your motorcycle like I do on my Supermoto and uh, sport bikes in the past. It's nice to just cruise out here and enjoy the scenery. But you know what, guys? In this video, I'm going to tell you my personal top five bobber cruisers. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Make sure to visit CycleCruiser.com and click on the menu tab My Videos and those are a bunch of playlists with all my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Check out these new shorty gloves I got. Awesome. If you want to get these gloves, ultra lightweight helmet with auto tint shield, airbag vest to help keep you safe, jacket, gloves, all my gear, my motor vlog camera. I always include links in the description and comment section of my video. <sighs> yeah, it's a beauty to cruising. But I tell you, it's also a beauty to having a good time out here. Rip it. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Good times, baby. Rip it and rip it, baby. <laughs> yeah, baby. Woo! I love it. Oh, that's good times to me, man. But it's also fun, like I said, just cruising, you know? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> He's probably like, hey, that hooligan. But anyways, number five on my list. Now, I know I'm going to get probably a little bit of hate for this, but I say the, the Harley Davidson Sportster Iron 883. One of the cheapest Harleys you can get, 9,000 bucks. baby <laughs> can't do that on this bike though nine thousand bucks it's got the 883 cc v-twin engine air cooled so it's got the simple air cooled engine that's what's cool about bobbers guys just a simple small bike you know it, it's not super lightweight this harley davidson is at 564 pounds which is kind of hefty you know for this type of bobber but you get some bump down low. Bike only has 49 horsepower and I think 53 pounds feet of torque at 3750 RPM. So down low, you're gonna get a little bit of that bump. So it's not, obviously, you're not gonna be breaking speed records with this bike, but you're gonna feel a little bump down low. You're gonna be looking good on the bike. Uh, it's a five speed and uh, it has a three gallon tank. It's 50 miles per gallon. Uh, you throw some pipes on there so you get a beautiful sound with the bike uh, good looking bike like i said the, the ladies will probably holler at you on that bike man <laughs> out here in ohio the ladies love the harley davidson's out here man this is this is a harley davidson nation out here in ohio i tell you that guys sport bikes and supermotos are the minority the next bike i would probably choose over the harley most definitely would be the triumph bobber only comes in one color, black. And has a drag style handlebars. It costs 13,000 bucks though for this Triumph Bobber, but it's got the 1200 CC engine. Get this, uh, twin engine, 77 horsepower, 78 pound feet of torque at 4,000 RPM. So again, down low, you're gonna get a little bump and power. The bike is much lighter weight than the Harley Davidson at 524 pounds. It's actually one of the lightest bobbers on this list. It's a no frills bobber. It has 
the classic bobber seat, you know, spring seat with the, you know, basic. That's what you want with a bobber, man. Just basic and simple. And that's what you get with the, the Triumph bobber. But good looking, like I said, it's got some bumper power. Um, the only drawback to this Triumph bobber is that it has a small fuel tank. The fuel tank is only 2.4 gallons. So you're going to lose some range, you know, that's the biggest drawback, like I said, baby. Yeah, baby, <laughs> 50 miles per hour right here. And this bike rips to it in no time. <laughs> Number three, the Honda Rebel 500, which Honda Rebels used to be chicks beginner bikes <laughs> back in the day. But they have elevated to so much more than that now. They got a little bit more power, they're better looking. They're classified as a, a real bike now, you know what I'm saying? Not like a toy bike like it was in the past. Uh, but what's cool about the Honda 500 is that it's cheap. Brand new $6,500 with ABS brakes on it, guys. That's Is that awesome or what, man? Cheap price. You get, uh, it's, freaking what like 40 horsepower 30 pounds feet of torque uh, so it doesn't have a lot of power and the bump is not there's not a lot of bump down low because that 30 uh, pounds feet of torque is at 6 6300 rpm but the bike is fairly lightweight it's got uh it's got six, six speed three gallon tank it gets 67 miles per gallon the latest led headlight on the, the new 2020 and I tell you, man, it's an absolutely good-looking bike. Obviously, you're going to get reliability, you know, with it being the Japanese bike. And uh, so, I would definitely choose the Honda over the other two, in my opinion. Because, like I said, with the Bobber, you want just something simple. It's cheap, simple, looks good. The crew's out here on the streets. Obviously, a Bobber is not a bike that you want to do any long-distance touring on or anything of that sort. Um, and I'll say the Honda... Rebel 500 definitely gets a thumb up to me, but that takes me to number two, which I think is even better, which is a little bit more expensive, but it's got more, more power, a little bit more torquey. It's got bump down low, and that's the Yamaha Bolt R-Spec. 8,400 bucks. Um, it is a five-speed, though, but that's not a big deal because you're just cruising out here on the streets, but you get a torquey V-twin engine that produces uh, 65 horsepower, 59 pounds feet of torque at 3,000 RPM. So like I said, right there towards the bottom, 3,000 RPM, you're gonna feel that bump. And I tell you, I, a lot of people will tell you that the Yamaha Bolts are really nice bikes, man. Zippy bikes, and uh, especially the R-Spec, absolutely awesome. Throw some pipes on there, man. The bike sounds legit good looking bike and uh you can't beat it man but anyways that takes me to the number one bobber on my list i think it's the number one bobber on a lot of people's list guys doesn't really get any better than this and that is the indian scout bobber only twelve thousand bucks uh 1133 cc uh v twin engine it's got a hundred horsepower 77 pounds feet of torque um i think it only weighs about like 400 and 542 pounds or something like that uh man i tell you guys and you throw some aftermarket pipes on that bike and it is legit man seriously tell you that Woo! <laughs> yeah boy i'm telling you i love the torque on this bike man <laughs> But I tell you, you know, with the, the Indian Scout Bobber, kind of the drawback is that, uh, you know, the bump and power really doesn't come up to a little bit higher in RPM. So you gotta, you gotta rev the bike out a bit more, you know, to get that bump and power. Um, but lots of power. I've been wanting to get an Indian Scout Bobber for a long time, man. And uh, it just, it looks so awesome. And, you know, basically, it's the same bike as the Victory Octane that, uh, you know, Indian discontinued, which pissed off a lot of people, guys. <laughs> pissed me off. That's kind of one reason why I stayed away from the Indian Scout. Hey, where the heck am I, man? <laughs> Woo! 
<laughs> this thing cooks, boy. I'm telling you, man. You want a bike that's torquey and just brutal up to about 70, 60, about 70 miles per hour. This is the bike you want, man. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woo! Good times, baby. Good times. I tell you, good times on this bike, baby. But I don't recommend this for you and any of you beginners out there. Don't don't get this bike, man. I'm telling you. Because if you're a beginner, this bike will eat you alive, man. Although if you think, oh, it's just a 450. I'm telling you guys, I've ridden super I've owned super bikes, super sports, uh, you know, power cruisers. And I tell you, this bike puts put some fear into me man when I ride I, I love it it keeps me alive man absolutely awesome but I tell you it there's a beauty to having all different types of bikes at one time I had four different types of bikes man and I loved it and I miss it and that's why I said I want to add possibly add a bobber or a power cruiser I just need the cruiser just to cruise out here you know what I'm saying you know long low like that that indian scout bobber looking good chilling good comfortable riding position taking in the scenery looking at the ladies saying hey baby what's up you want to go for a ride <laughs> i'll take you for a ride you know but a drawback to, with the bobbers is that it's only designed for one rider uh, most of them don't have an you know auxiliary seat there for passengers. But hey guys, tell me about some other cool bobbers out there. Give me your top five bobbers or cruisers. I want to hear about them. Let's talk about it, man. That's why I do these videos to help incite community discussion and just have a good time with it. Hey, don't forget to subscribe to my All in One Motorcycle channel and also check out my other channel, Buckout Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto. <laughs>